Hello, this is uh, JP Freeman from uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. We're in Baratabaro, Vermont, and I'm investigating a, an illegal no trespass order given by somebody, and they're also kicking them off the property next door, even though it's his own church. Um, this is the Tim Sanborn case that I'm looking into right now. Yeah, you guys have a supervisor I can speak to? I'm sorry, what? A supervisor? About what? About something. And you're being recorded, by the way. Um, you get, usually get a little bit more respect from them when I take my hat off. For some reason, it works. It's so yeah. weird. Verse me keeping it on. So they don't go, oh, you, you know. what are you doing? Yeah. You take it off. Oh, yeah, man. You start seeing their mannerisms change. It's it, insanely weird. Very, very strange. So it's Tim Samuel. and misuse of authority and being a badge bully. And I looked at the statutes very, very close when it comes to no trespass orders. In order for him not to be able to go to the church next door, he used to work at the drop-in center, which is a homeless place where people go during the day. Right. Um, he got kicked out of there because he called the police on someone getting assaulted. Mm. And the management didn't want that type of play yeah. in, in the area. They wanted to deal with it internally. And he's basically calling to save somebody. So he gets fired, let go from the job, and they gave him a no trespass order. But he's also not able to go to the church next door, even though it's a separate property, mm. which is illegal. And the cops are like, don't go near, near blah, 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 I'm arresting you. So I want to address that specifically. That's basically what we're doing. And this is about a month old. Month old. Did she say, wait a minute, or am I going to be sitting here for three hours? So this is basically the dispatch. And, um, dispatch will gladly help you when you are off your cell phone. Thank you. <laughs> if you need to talk to a dispatcher, ring the buzzer to your right once. Do not tap on the window. This is quite a busy office, and if dispatchers are busy, they will be with you as soon as they can. Please be patient. Wow, that's kind of con a very condescending yeah. notice. Well, that's, that's government. When they can't keep up, they make excuses. It, did. it says thank you, though, and do not tap on window, and please be patient. Uh, no please on the second one? Come on. Yeah. It doesn't say please do not tap on the window? <laughs> The first one's kind of polite, second one's kind of polite, and the second one is extremely condescending. <laughs> do you guys have a dis do you guys have a supervisor coming or what? 
Am I going to sit here all day? They can't be busy because we come in here Thursday nights and Friday nights during peak hours of bars and not see a soul. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they got going on that's so important. What kind of forms do they got here? They got name, address, change, lost license, non-driver ID card, registration forms, forms, handicap permits, tax forms, license applications, special plate, light permit, light permit. You need a, a permit for a light? Oh, fuck. Universal medical evaluation progress report. I think that's in the wrong... That's in the wrong spot, I think. I don't think that's a light permit. Lost duplication title, boat registration, replacement plate application. Look at this bureaucratic bullshit. Tax credit refund, trade in allowance... Special plate applications, DMV record request, snowmobile registration, DMV envelope, learner's permit, Vermont motor, motor vehicle manual. Actually, that's actually decent to have. I bet you the statutes are in there. Or is it just a, a manual guidelining people? I can't remember what I told you. Do what we say. Do what we say, and not as I do. Cause badges grant extra rights. I'm gonna fly through intersections at 90 miles an hour, but if you do it, I'm gonna steal your property, levy money, and if you don't pay the money, I'm gonna put you in jail and cage you and kidnap you over a law that I break on a daily basis because I am a police officer. <coughs> So when you see me as a police officer, make sure you say sir. Because I'm sir, 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 a bit on ISIS. ISIS swerved a bit. Hey, this is all useless stuff. This is a study in the license and pass your test. on the phone. No, I don't have their number, sir. Okay. Bureaucrats. Sorry. Customer service at its finest. show they're running here. They're all bebopping around. Did you see that? <laughs> this is <actually> like... <sighs> Any time today. Sir? I'm waiting for a supervisor. I don't even know if she's getting one for me. Hey, listen, we, we, we let a supervisor know. He's in the back. He's busy. Okay. So just, it'll be a couple minutes, okay? All right, at least she could have told me. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you just have a seat though? Because. No, I'm going to gonna stand right here. That's okay. Sure. Have a good day. The public needs to see you guys. So basically, a, um, this is J.P. Freeman from New Hampshire Regional Coplock, coplock.org, and this is. Uh, Sim, Tim Sanborn, no trespass order. Um, basically, the police is using misuse of authority and being um, a badge bully. So I need to try to find out how to get those records. I'm in that process right now. I'm waiting for a supervisor at Brattleboro Police Department. And we got um, Ethan here from New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock to help me out. And, um... I, I want to specifically show the process, especially with these uh, public officials, but i got to make sure this is a municipal building, so I don't want to get private people on uh, on video. I want to protect their rights as, as regular citizens, because they do have a right to privacy. 
but public officials do not. Man, they're really condescendingly rude. Just their demeanor. Listen, yeah. listen. We already got one. <laughs> By the way, you're being video recorded. Oh, you can take a seat right there. Oh, I, I know I can, but I'm not going to. I want to. I want the public to hear her yell at people on the phone. Like the bitch she is. Police. Town of Brattleboro. We've been actually doing some yeah, stuff. Just like sit this down in there. <laughs> I don't know about their wiretapping bills. So. <laughs> I know we can openly record public officials. That's an event. That's a yeah. because Vermont is part of the Glick decision jurisdiction. Yeah. But state law, I'm not sure what guidelines it would be yeah. here nor there. You know what I mean? You have no expectation of privacy, ma'am. Just letting you know. So you guys can be a coward and put that down. Jerk off. Massively, massively rude. And what's your name, ma'am? Name and dispatcher number? Wonder what they're hiding. What do you got to hide? Have you been drinking, man? I think I smell mar marijuana from there, from in there. Hi. How you doing? Can I do um, you? First, who are the dispatchers? What are their names? Do you know? Uh, what is her last name? To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, this is being recorded. Yep. Um, yes. Well, um, are you? I'm J.P. Freeman, well, audio too. Okay. Um, J.P. Freeman from coplock.org. I want to see how we can uh, get information on a, an illegal no trespass order served on a guy named Tim Sanborn. Okay. Apparently, he used to work for the drop-in center, and uh, he was removed um, because he used to work there, apparently, but he's also prevented from going next door to his church and dinners, too. Okay. I looked at the statute, and nobody can prevent, but he's saying the police are threatening him. Okay. So I'm trying to find out information about that. But these okay. guys, these two in here, leadership, mm -hmm. their leadership reflects on their attitude, and their attitude sucks. Okay. And they have no expectation of privacy, so I don't understand why they put the draw well, down. Well, there is the respect that those screens in there... The dispatch screens, if there's any type of reflection, I don't know what your cameras can pick up. But the, that is information that they are not allowed. Your window is open to the public. The window is. Then you guys need to take the necessary steps to block those, but not block the public for seeing what's going on in, in their paid room. Okay. They pay for that room. But I think they're extremely rude and they give very little information. Okay. They, they, it really seems like we're talking to two school kids okay. you know, off the street. We Just can, saying. We can address it. Um, so, and I want their names. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute, and let me let me just address your first concern. Okay. Get those for you. So you want you're looking for a trespass? No, no, I'm looking to look at a trespass. Oh, order. okay. So you um, need to make a records request, which I can give you the form. For okay. That. I would. Okay. What I would have to do is find out the case number. Yeah. Now. That. Are you familiar with the drop-in center in the church next to next door to it? Are they the same property? Do they have the same property owner, or does the church run the drop-in center? If you're talking about the church down on Main Street, the Congregational Church, yeah, that I believe is a space that's rented for the winter as a shelter. Okay. As a warming shelter. Yep. Yep. During the overnight, I believe that's rented by the drop-in center. Okay. The drop-in center is actually 66 South Main Street. Okay. So. Do they? Sh is it the same building though? No, no, no. It's different. Main Street is well. If you go right out here and take a right, 
um, the big red or brick church. Yeah. That's where the shelter is on the first floor. Okay. The drop-in center is if you go further down through downtown. Okay. You go up, take a left on the south. So I wonder why he's prevented from going to the church and why the police told him he was prevented from going to church if they have a no trespass order against them um, at the drop-in center. That doesn't make any sense to me. That I don't know. Unless it's, unless it's a trespass against the drop-in center who also runs the shelter. So I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to. You'd have to look at whatever the case says. It would have to be, it, it can't be the renter that gets a no trespass order. If they're renting property that has other access to public, mm -hmm. that, the trespass order would have to be filled out by the owner. Or its a, representative. But not a renter, if it, if it has mm -hmm. other access to the public. Right. The church has other access. I don't know if If they're it's... renting it downstairs for like yeah. other purposes, mm -hmm. The people renting downstairs can't say they can't go to church upstairs. That's a violation. No, no, I, 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 I you see where I'm getting. Right, there. no, yeah. I agree with you. There, yes. All right, so you have a form. Yes, I can get you the form. For and how much is that usually? Uh, record request. It's a few dollars. I couldn't tell you exactly what. It's, 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 it's probably expensive. on the form. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe so. It's not that expensive. Okay. So I got that for you. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll take one. Okay. And now we'll go uh, and. See if we can uh, chat with the people at the church, because uh, he wants to go to church. He's, the, the cops oh. told him he's prevented from going to church. Okay. Um, so I need to find out. He used to work at the drop-in center. Yeah. He called the police on the situation there, mm -hmm. and the management there didn't like the police activity um, because he was concerned with someone's safety. Mm -hmm. He initially got let go, fired from the. You can't get fired from volunteering, but right. uh, they got a no trespass order because he wanted to know why went down there and wanted to know why he can't go there. Mm -hmm. And then the cop says, well, you can't go to the church either because that's what the management here is saying. Oh, okay. um, and I'm like, law-wise, law that doesn't sound correct to me. Mm -hmm. And he felt like he was being bullied by the police department. Mm -hmm. So he filed a complaint through New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock and Cop Lock Dialogue, and that's why we're involved. Oh, okay. Um, and I can't answer those questions as far as... Okay. Where yeah, and I'll get the particular I'll get the particular officer's name from him after I talk to him, and I'll file a, a complaint against the officer if I if we find that he spoke out of line. Okay. Very well. Let me get you the form, and I'll get you their names. Okay. Yeah, that'll be that'll be great. Okay. Because I want to file I'll file a, a complaint through the city or through the town on okay. on their attitudes and drawing down the thing. Mm -hmm. Not a good move to do to uh, two media people that get two point four million views a day. It's going to get posted all over YouTube now. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Um, it really isn't, though. You guys have a bad perception already as, as police officers. Yeah. You know, all over the place. Uh, I guess it depends on who you talk to, but I'll yeah. get you the form. 4,000 deaths in, two, in three years is a big, bad perception. I get it. How you doing, sir? Uh, I talk to Getting there. Did I handle that okay? Yeah, yeah. You see how how withdrawn he is? He goes right into formalities. Yeah. And he just stepped right back. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Right. You can tell. I love this thing because I can, I can just put little bookmarks in there. Cop shows up, bookmark. You stop talking, bookmark. That's my edit points. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> radio, radio audio podcast. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the uh, the camera roll, and I'll let you edit it wherever the dead spots are. Yeah. And, uh, editor will show you know <clears throat> smaller volume and everything, so it's easy to find. So this is uh, J. P. Freeman from uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock, coplock.org, and we are here at Brattleboro. Vermont Police Department and uh, as you can tell we hit some roadblocks already and I'm just trying to find a supervisor um, so it's going to give me the dispatch names because I'm not too fond of how we were treated and blocking the public from seeing what they pay for um, I think is illegal um, as you can tell um, from the earlier video that they, they actually put 